Hi guys, my name is HG and in this short tutorial I want to just show you my plugin that I have uh, written by myself. So, uh, the plugin that I want to introduce you is uh, Maxway. I know that you are maybe familiar with this plugin, but uh, I have created one for my own. And uh, this is uh, my code ex2ae.ms and just you have to put it in your uh, 3d smax folder 2014 uh, script start up and x2ae and everything is done so in the other side you have to put the code from after effect 2 uh, that means you have to go in program files, Adobe, Adobe uh, After Effects CS6, support files, uh, script, and export and import DLIF file. So, when you are done, <coughs> we can go to 3D Max. Yes, let's reset it to show you how to work. I think it is better than uh, the 3D Studio Max that you buy, uh, uh, Max 3 that you buy, but <coughs> you can uh, try it for your own. So, uh, you go here in uh, Max, you have here something EX2AE. If you click, you can create your Max 3 plane. Just like this. <coughs> After you have created one Maxway plane, as you see in Modify Panel, you have here the width and the height. For example, 100 and 100. Okay. The second thing is your pixel access press, uh, preset. When you are working uh, in a square pixel, I mean after, later, in After Effects you should be aware of that. The other, another thing is uh, by exporting you have to choose here your uh, output setup from render panel. For example, if, if you want to have something <coughs> HD TV 1280 by 70, uh, 720 and the another thing that you have to adjust to <coughs> is your frame rate. That's NTSC or pulse. After you have adjust this, you have to adjust every plane, the axial ratio of every plane. After that, mm, this is you have to adjust the scale. This is because maybe there is time you have a small scene or uh, in opposite, maybe you have a big scene, so you can here uh, adjust your scale. For example, if I put here uh, 0 0.5, as you see, my width and height will be to 200 in After Effects later. As you see, the mm, scale here, the size here is the same, but the width and the length will be greater because of the uh, when we want to use it in After Effects. So that is the uh, purpose of this scale. The next thing is the peak camera. Uh, for every max ray e information, you have to need a camera. As you see, we have I have created now a camera here. You go there and pick your camera. And here you are, your camera name is here. And um, the another thing is standard comp size. What it means? For example, if your pixel access ratio is in pa on Paul DV and you uh, click on standard comp size, as you see here, is 720 by 576 length. That's the standard comp size of the Paul. As you see, I have created just for uh, user to uh, be friendlier with this plugin and can work easily. The next thing is uh, calculate accept ratio. I have to 
uh, explain that too. For example, I have here a box, and what I want is to have a mastery plane exactly on this side of wall. So I go here to mastery and turn off, turn on auto grid and snap mode and create a plane. So this plane is exactly the same size as the box size. But the problem is if I want to have it as a power DV, when I, uh, you ha I have to adjust my uh, pixel accept ratio. So, but if I put, if I uh, let the pixel accept ratio to pi V1, as you see, the size will increase some more. So, because the, the pixel accept ratio of pi DV is 1.0667. So, what can I do now? Now this is some bigger than the plane. Okay, I go then just here and click calculate as uh, accept ratio. As you see, now the size of the plane is exactly the same size as the box, and the width and the height, uh, the width and the length has been changed. This is the purpose of the calculate accept ratio. The next thing is export lag. If you check it, your light will be exposed in After Effects. And the last thing is, last thing is um, your composition. When you are done, mm, I have to turn my camera. When you are done, uh, you click on Export to AE and place. One. The, the exporting of data for After Effects was successfully done. So now we are done. Now we can go to After Effects and script import and here we are. Now we have a com. and a helper. As you see here, the it's HD, HDTV, the width and the height is the same as our resolution here in our render setup. And the other things, frame rate are the same, 29.97 is the same as here related by NTSC. So, now my camera has no movement here and because of that, we have here no movement too. So, and this is our plane, max ready plane. I can go here. Everything is cr uh, created, the same size, and can put a movie and film or whatever you want and can use it. Now I want to show you an example that I created by my own. Uh, for example, I look at this email. Finish the For example, see this logo. <laughs> yes, the movie is all in our as you see, I have reflection here too, but all is in after. You see the reflection here? Yes, the reflection. Yes, you can see the reflection here, but all, all these are in after. You see the reflection? All these reflection are in after. So, how? I wanted just to show you an example. For example, <laughs> okay, here. Here I have my max ray pane here. Max ray pane. They are linked uh, to the 
round shape that goes down and come up and after I have created my logo and rendered all, all of this <coughs> I just simply click in one of the max wave planes and choose the camera if you choose the camera from one plane that's enough for all and if you have uh, more than one uh, max wave plane you have just to pick one of these and pick the camera and the comp size and the exported file included all your planes so after you render these files and export your max to info you go to after effect and simply As you see here, folks. This is the first Max Way plane. This is the camera. And here you can go here and you have you can have your image, whatever you want. So I think it is very easier to work than the original Max Ray. And uh, the second point is that it's versionless. You know, it, it works with every version of 3D Studio Max. And I think it's had more power. But you have to check it by your own. Thank you for your watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you are interested in that, you can just email in contact with me and tell how you find it. Bye-bye.